guys. I am at DIY Paints Video Boot Camp, and I can't wait to tell you about the adventure. So first, we had to pick a piece, and it was kind of like the NFL Draft meets Flea Market Flip. Ready, Lisa? I'm ready. I'm okay. live at boot camp, you guys, I'm picking my furniture. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We had 60 seconds to look through 20 different pieces and pick the one that spoke to us. This right here is a finished product. This is it, you guys, and I am beyond excited. Debbie, I if I could have hand-picked something out of everything in the world, I'd have picked So you might be asking, Lisa, why this piece right here? This is the reason. Look at that sexy hardware. Not sure that's the criteria they use in the NFL draft, but that's what worked for me. I started with a layer of DIY paint and weathered wood. It's a rich brown that adds depth to any project. How did I pick my finish? Well, I love my pieces to tell a story. So I want to imagine that my grandmother had the piece and then maybe she passed it down to my mom. My mom put a coat of paint on it. And then my sister, she got the piece of furniture. She put a coat of paint on it. Then maybe she passed it on to me. I put a coat of paint on it. And over time, all of the chippy, worn goodness is now on this piece. This piece of furniture had beautiful lines, but I wanted to add a little bit of texture, so I used the Jamie Ray Vintage Damask Stencil with Paint Couture Embossing Medium and added it to the edges and corners. You guys, it's DIY paint that makes the difference. I like to go in different directions. It will vary the amount of crinoline that you see. After the paints had a chance to dry, I follow up with a baby wipe, removing various layers of paint along the hardware, corners, and edges. This really adds a lot of interest to the piece. I use DIY paint, dark and decrepit, along the bottom, pulling it up and into the piece to help give it that aged, worn look. It's the all natural ingredients that have zero odor and make all this layering and texture possible. Much like frosting on a cake, I added golden ticket and dripped it along the edges, the top, and the hardware to really finish off the piece. I used DIY Paints Soft Buttery Clear Wax to seal my piece and added touches of black wax along the hardware to add some grunge. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. You'll want to stay tuned to the end to watch some outtakes and bloopers. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I have no idea what the address is. <laughs> so it's... Uh, search I, Sweet. Oh, go to YouTube, search Sweet and Sassy Treasures, and everything you ever wanted to know will pop up right there. If this video boot camp were the NFL draft, what do I think? I think I'm winning the Super Bowl. That's what I think. Stay tuned. Let me know what your thoughts are. <laughs>